that we are powerless on our own, we recognize our indebtedness to God. But we also come together in this circle with the knowledge that as human beings, we are all connected to each other. In recognition of our common bond, please take this opportunity to greet the person to your right and to your left. Hi. Hi. Mike. Jose. Jose, nice to meet you. As we light the candles and join in a few moments of silence, a few moments of silent reflection, the candles represent a light of hope. in God and consider these following verses from Matthew 22. A version of this count is also found in Mark 12 and Luke 10. silence the Sadducees. They gathered together, and one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, what commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment, and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Christian denominations and 
organizations committed to resisting budget cuts that undermine the lives, dignity, and rights of poor and vulnerable people. As the coalition was forming, Reverend David Bentley, President of Red for the World, Tony Hall, Executive Director of the Alliance to Hunger, and Reverend Jim Wallace, President of Sojourners, began a fast during Lent to draw attention to budget proposals for fiscal year 2011 that drastically cut programs for hungry and poor people. Thousands of activists, leaders of nonprofit organizations and corporations, and people of faith joined them in urging Congress to protect these programs. When the fiscal year 2011 budget was passed, the cuts in these programs were lower than had been originally proposed. David Beckman explains the urgency for us to act. Everything we have achieved for poor and hungry people in the last 35 years is under severe threat of budget cuts. Nutrition programs such as the Supplemental Nutrition for Women, Infants, and Children, WIC, and SNAP, formerly food stamps, as well as poverty-focused development assistance. The FAST and the Circle of Protection campaign generated extensive print, radio, and television coverage. And thousands of people have raised their voices through letters, phone calls, and personal visits to Congress, through letters to the editor and opinion pieces, through discussions at town hall meetings and call-in shows. And even though Congress moved to make some reductions in the budget for, for fiscal year 2011, the cuts to important programs are lower than had been originally proposed. As the budget discussions for fiscal year 2012 move forward, we will continue to raise our voices. Our faith does not allow us to stand still on this, so we remain steadfast in urging Congress to protect the most vulnerable people in our global society when they make uh, future spending decisions. Inspired by a common spiritual conviction that God has called on all Americans to protect the vulnerable and promote the dignity of all individuals living in society, we take this opportunity to pray for a just and compassionate federal budget. We appeal to our federal legislators and our president to protect those struggling to overcome poverty in the U.S. and abroad and to exclude programs that protect people in poverty from the U.S. budget deficit debates. We believe that the federal budget is a moral document. We affirm government's role in serving the common good. We have come to Washington to meet with congressional leaders and to join with you in daily prayer for a global economy and a federal budget that break the yokes of injustice, poverty, hunger, and unemployment throughout the world. y cristianas, urgimos al Congreso y la Administración a otorgar una prioridad moral a los programas que protegen la vida y dignidad de los más pobres y necesitados en estos tiempos difíciles en nuestra quebrada economía y en nuestro lastimado mundo. going to invite you to sing, come and fill with us. Uh, we'll run it through once and then we'll start singing and uh, our liturgical dancer will lead us into the chapel as we continue to sing.